Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sophie, is this really the great time to now walk with your claws on the floor? But anyway, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided, um, so for the last two weeks, well, no, actually, it's not even a lie. I'm a, I'm a liar, sorry. Um, <laughs> for the last, um, I started like mid last week and this week now it's my, no, it's Tuesday. I started eating a lot healthier and just trying to like count my calories again. So I kind of, um, because I'm really short, I'm like 163 centimeters, so like five foot three or whatever. And and because obviously I am so short and I weigh I think at the moment I'm not really like concerned about weight though just bear in mind like I don't care about what I weigh I kind of more care about what I look like so that is something I <laughs> overcame last year like I decided like screw this it's not about the number on the scale because I was driving so hard and <clears throat> my body was physically looking amazing but I was almost 60 kgs so that's when I decided stop caring about weight it's not about the number on the scale it's kind of more about what you look like and if you feel happy and confident but anyways besides that point so um for the last few days or so i've been counting my calories again and just trying to eat wholesome foods that are yummy delicious and keep you full for long and just are still tasty and yummy so um i decided to film what i eat in a day so that's why we're here so this morning for my, um, I haven't eaten yet, it's currently almost, it's quarter to 12. And I usually do intermittent fasting and that's something I've been doing for years. It's just, I don't know, it works for me, it makes me less bloated. That's just what works for me, but everything doesn't work for everyone. So just know. And then also, don't get the wrong idea with this video. This is just my personal goals, my personal choices. This is just, don't feel like you have to do anything. If you're happy with yourself, you don't have to do anything. So yeah, I thought I would do a what I eat in the day. So this morning I had coffee and my coffee is like around if I had to count the calories it's like five calories because I have two um, spoons of instant coffee and then I have one sachet of sweetener which is like zero calories and then I have like 25 mils or almost 40 mils of unsweetened almond milk so that's like five calories so yeah technically only had five calories today so I'm gonna make something to eat now and I'm thinking of making like a tuna couscous salad not because that's what I eat every single day but because I'm like really in the mood for couscous and and like tomatoes and pickles and just something like tangy and I don't know I'm just I haven't had couscous in ages and today I looked in the cupboard and I was like oh my gosh I haven't had couscous in like years I would say I haven't had it in about a year and I love it so much I don't know why I don't eat it more so yeah I'm gonna make myself a salad now it's my first meal of the day then I'm gonna make myself another coffee because I'm a coffee addict I will admit it I'm a coffee addict so yeah let's go downstairs and let's make our first meal of the day So this is my lunch. I've got baby spinach, cucumber, tomatoes, couscous, tuna, a little bit of mayo, baby spinach, tomatoes, onion, just a whole bunch of goodness in a bowl. And it's a really, really big bowl. So I'll be so full after this. If I finish this, I'll be shocked. And I've got some balsamic vinegar over the top. And this whole big bowl only comes up to 
323 calories so that's good and it's going to be super filling so yeah you've got to eat high volume low calorie foods and you will be full for long and this is also very high protein so that's good and also of course i like to keep my water bottle filled and this is there was half in there this morning and i already drank that much so i'm going to fill it now this is a one liter bottle and i like to drink about i would say three of these a day if i can usually though at least two As you can see, I didn't even finish everything and I'm literally so full right now. I was very comfy. So yeah, very filling. I honestly couldn't even manage. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a skip and I'm gonna have some coffee now. Just gonna add a little bit of almond milk. I'm gonna froth it in the milk frother. And then that is my lunch done. And then if I have a snack a little bit later, I'll share that with you guys. But for now, I'm going to have this coffee and I'm so full right now. I can't even like think. So, yeah. I'm going to quickly make that and then, and then have that and then, yeah. Oh, well, I can't find my job. Well, we'll find both at the same time. We're supposed to be both somewhere. Um, okay. I so... I haven't found my job, so... You're done? No. I haven't found my job. Okay, but I'll now. help you now. Okay, so, um, we've just been putting up curtains and stuff in the spare room. I haven't put them up properly yet. I'm still busy doing it. But I'm having a nachi as a snack. Because they're so yummy. So yeah, I'm having a little nashi snack and then I'm going to carry on putting up the curtains and help place the first drill bit. So yeah, I'll chat to you guys later. Okay, so it's currently, um, it's time. It's 5.30 and I'm going to start making dinner now. I'm just going to make like a tomato bacon like pasta top five and then um, I'm just going to have one of these now. Just one of these days I have another latte things. I'm just like so in the mood for one. But I'm not going to add any extra anything. I'm just going to add water because the sachet alone is like... I already put it down in my thing. So the sachet is 73 calories which is quite hard but I'm just in the mood for one. And then the Clement Gold is only 47. So, so far that is how much I have remaining. I've set my goal to 1,200 every single day, but for me to even still lose weight, I can make it to 1,3 if I want to, for my height and weight and everything. So yeah, this is what I'm currently sitting on left, 757 calories that I can still consume. So I'm pretty sure dinner is going to be quite high, probably like 400 to 500. So yeah. I've also, I had um, a packet of pork rashes in the fridge, so I've just put those the air fryer just has a little snack so those are going to be delicious and then i'm just going to add it onto my calories now so yeah i'm not restricting myself in any like any way at all it's kind of just counting them and just making sure i stay in a certain like budget of calories if you know what i'm trying to say but yeah i'm not restricting myself at all like i'm in the mood for this it's almost 100 calories for one but i'm in the mood for it so i'm gonna have it Okay, so this is basically what I'm going to be putting inside the pasta. So I've got onions and then I've got garlic and chili. Um, I'm going to put the chili in separately because not everyone likes chili. 
So um, then I've also got my bacon. I've already chopped that up. I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. And then I think for the sauce, I'm unsure if I should go for... I want to kind of add some of this pesto because it sounds nice. Or I should add the sun-dried tomato one. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure if I should go for the roast vegetable or the tomato, olive and chili. I think I'm going to do tomato, olive and chili. I'm not really for like the veggie flavour. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. And I'm just going to add some more like tomato, chopped and peeled tomatoes. Just that I kind of added to make more and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of the situation. And then instead of using olive oil in my pot I just used some canola spray and cook because did you know that inside one tablespoon of olive oil there's a hundred calories did you know that yeah I know I thought you didn't so yeah anyways my pasta I'm gonna add the water now to boil it I don't know why it looks so messy but yeah anyways this is the situation I'll show you guys as soon as it's on the go guys um i'm obviously looking very cozy right now so anyways i mean i didn't show you my dinner sorry but i did tell you what i was making and i showed you what i was making so um it was basically just like a roasted i ended up using the roasted veg pasta sauce instead of the olive one so um yeah <laughs> um basically i just had i had like 150 grams of pasta because i was like so in the mood for pasta and then i had about 200 grams of the sauce so that kind of equaled up to how much was it i make um i use my fitness pal just by the way and you can actually make your own recipes on you and then you can write how many it serves and then there it actually works out how much your recipe kind of adds up to so my recipe the okay i just got plain basic spaghetti that's boiled that was 240 calories and then I just named my thing bacon tomato pasta <clears throat> and that added up to 190 calories so my dinner was 430 calories which is fine that's still in a decent calorie budget especially because my lunch was only 323 and I do intermittent fasting so I didn't have breakfast and then all my little snacks I had went up to 315 so I've still got a bud a budget, yeah, I would say budget of three a hundred and thirty three calories left. So I actually saw this recipe the other day. I've got a sweet tooth now, obviously, and um, I saw this recipe the other day on I think her name is Charlotte Rebecca, her YouTube channel, and it's a healthy lemon cheesecake. So I made these on Monday and this is what they look like so this adds up to about 70 calories and you can actually search um her inst her instagram her youtube channel she has the most amazing recipes so this is just a basic lemon cheesecake it's yogurt fat-free cottage cheese and i added lemon juice so you're supposed to add like a lemon flavored jelly but in south africa you know we don't really have much and the tantalize or tent something like that so that one um it tastes like absolute shit and then the only other lemon jelly is riddled with sugar so i just used the plain gelatin from woolworths and then i just added fresh lemon juice and it's delicious i've already had this i've already tried it so yeah it's really yummy it's only 70 calories and it really busts that sweet tooth so yeah, I highly recommend checking out a YouTube channel and then also having something like this in the fridge just so that you can snack on it. And then I also always have um, that sugar-free, oh, I don't know what the brand is now, but it says zero sugar, it's jelly, and I've got the strawberry one in the fridge right now. So yeah, if I don't have anything else, I won't probably won't have anything else to eat now, but I most likely will have like a cup of rooibos tea and then I won't really add anything into it, just a hot water and a tea bag. So, yeah, if I do make tea, I will share it with you. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, and, 
yeah that's all from me if there's anything else that i eat or consume i will put it in the end of this video and so far i've had two and a half liters of water today so we're doing good and i usually drink water throughout the night while i'm sleeping so we'll most likely have three liters i am someone that physically can't function without um water like i i really can't function like i have to at least have two liters of water a day otherwise my, i've got headaches my body just doesn't function well without water so yeah guys um i also signed up to go back to gym so i'm very happy and i'm gonna go back to gym uh, hopefully tomorrow so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys in maybe another what i eat in the day or a future vlog bye get on now.